Okay, so last time we left off here because I didn't want to fight. Uh, where is he? I didn't want to fight that guy. Damn. I'm like, do avoid him. Quality. Yeah, we're just gonna avoid him. What level did we leave off in? Because I think that's important to know. So right now we are level 40. Okay, that's solid. 40, 42, 41. And we'll go to Mithra. Alright. Pretty good. Where am I going? Right here. Alright. Do what we have to do. Finally. You took your sweet time. You're the Hey Shalad. Hey! You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out the way. More like stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Three days? Seriously? You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on idiots. Well then. Fight me and we'll see who's the idiot. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you if you can beat me. You want to join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Huh? Why? What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. Thanks for the concern and all, but maybe you should be worrying about yourself. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Which one's gonna get you this time, eh? Not today, furry ears. Check this. Taking me seriously yet? Hmm. Oh, so strong. What the? How did he do that? Thunderbolt Zeke, Tantal's most powerful driver, and its crown prince. Crown prince of Tantal. This guy. It is quite the rare opportunity to see his swordsmanship firsthand. Now this is more like it. Ooh, come on, yeah. Keep it coming. <clears throat> That's it? That's all I get? Oh, fine. Anyway, ready to concede defeat to the Zekonator? As if. We're only just warming up, you pompous ass. I'm right with you. Let's show him what we got. <laughs> yes! Let's see if the Aegis is worth the hype! Hyah! Morag is throwing. I don't want to use Tora. Um. Um. We'll be fine, right? Yeah, we'll be. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll, we're fine. We're five levels ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, we're five levels over leveled him. We're five levels above him. Aura is six for some reason. We'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. This isn't too hard. The most we'll do is probably like a chain attack. Yeah, just like a quick chain attack. Nothing too special. Just so we can get rid of him faster. Because, why not? Chain attacks are cool. And they're overpowered. So, why not make take advantage of them? All it takes is party gauge. 
for a chain attack. Uh, they should have made it a little harder. Pretty sure the harder difficulties are harder to get chain attacks. But still. Here we go. We just need a level 3. Oh no, we're fine. We can just do this. Good job, Mia. Here we go. Now we just need uh, an actual three bars. And we'll be good. And for now, we'll just keep going. If we get a second orb, sure. If not, then that's fine too. Alright. Come on. Alright, level 3. That's a really good damage. Oh, I just realized one thing I haven't been checking. And that is, um... My... What's it called? Affinity charts. With actual characters. I should probably do that. Okay. Oh, we're 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 okay. Definitely chain attack now. Sora, you're almost ready. Sora, Sora, come on. I saw it. Sora, one of you. There we go. All right. Explosion. Got two orbs. I am terrible. Okay, let's topple. And we'll chain attack from here. Cool. So, Mithra. And... Uh, we'll do Trollmark. And... Poppy Cutie. Okay. So it did work. The way I wanted it to. How much damage? Can we kill him with two orbs? Cross that. Oh, we are we are, we are good. Cross that. Broken. <laughs> That's all I have to say about her. All right. Cross that is simply broken. Thousand damage. How much? Never mind, Crosset is not available. 8,000. That is not bad. How about you? I didn't really get to see. Alright. You fight. Not bad, chum. Right back at ya. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Morag and Bridges level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis's true power? Mithra's power is only for fighting bad guys. Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now, is that it? Am I wrong? I like your attitude there, chum. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, your highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? I've been working for Indel for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Yeah, I think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right?
there he goes. Hmm. Bad luck indeed. Uh, should we go rescue him? Nah. He'll find his own way back up somehow. Let's just board the ship. Amazing! Whoa! It's so grand! Sure, because they're trying too hard. You don't have to be like that. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow. Before that, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city! Tora want to see everything! What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running around Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. All right, Mora, get back here. Here we go. And we're good, right? There we go. And now we just run around. Oh. So what do we do? Cookie seller. I want cookies. Um, are they cheap. They are very cheap. Take it. You're welcome, kiddo. I got you. If you ever see like someone selling cookies, just go for it. Your day might be pretty good. Or if you know they're good cookies, just go for it. My crit rate. I need that. My crit rate again. Okay, you're fine. Okay, how about you? You're fine. Give you this. Um, I guess I'll just give you this. You, you literally didn't have anything. Um, do I value crit rate or block rate? Now that's a lot of loss, actually. Or block rate, but we need more ag to do more damage. Um, I just don't want to. We'll give you block rate as I feel like it's more important for you. Okay, we're good. Anything else? Uh, ox cores. Do we even have anything? Yes. We do. There we go. And that's pretty much it. None of these actually are not that good. So, who do we give it to? I should already have one for Mithra. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Maybe... Um, that? Let's do it like that. Yeah. I think we'll just leave it like that. If cross that, the outdoor attack. Oh, and hold on. Let's actually go back to our Gentum. Let me see if it's unlocked. Because I'm actually not that sure. Go to Central Exchange. There's something I want to check. 
see if it's unlocked. But if it's not, then that's fine. Where do we go from here? Uh, it should be over here. Or not. Um, other side? Or like, okay, this way. Go here. And is he here? That guy here? Right here, bro, bro. Special ox core. There it is, massive melee Mithra. Now, I'm not actually going to give this to Mithra. I'm going to give this to... Um... I don't know. Maybe I should give it to Mithra. Ox cores. Now let's give it to Crosset. She's way too strong. She's like... She's arguably stronger... I'm gonna say she's just the strongest blade because that's how I feel it is so far. So for now, we'll just give it to Crosset and we'll just go back to Endal. Okay. I think that's pretty much all Endal has to really offer. I mean, we don't really need new accessories. I mean, we can check. Yeah, we can check if we have if they have accessories available, or at least better ones than what we have. Because what do I have? Characters. Oh yeah, I wanted to check this. Five thousand points. Okay. This one. Um. Oh, this one. Yes. Then, yes, that one sounds good. Let's you use a driver art after canceling a driver art. Ooh, 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 that one's good. This one's good too. Okay, these two will be next. Okay, Neo, we have ability. We'll just up her stats. Unless some of these are pretty good. Yep. I saw increase. Yep, increase max HP. Okay. What else? Um. Ether, dexterity. We do both? Nope. Barely. Yes. Increases auto attack damage by 20%. That is a really big percentage, actually. Ether, agility. We'll just do that. Um, we'll do this. And we'll just grab this one and the one next to it. And we should be fine. Yeah, this one's really cheap. How uh, about you? Alright. Dexterity, luck. Um, this one. Dexterity. Let's just get all their level 1s out of the way. Aura has a lot. That looks expensive. Really? You're up here? Montora. Hey, boost luck. I think that's it. Yeah. Now, uh, how about my accessories? 25, 20. Bitball, ether. Just have that. Okay. Let's go check the items. There might be something. And it seems like all the shops are back here, so we'll just look around. Salvaging. We don't really go salvaging too much. 
I should. Maybe I can make money off of it. Or lose money. I'm that bad. There, any more shops? Right here. Okay. Dexterity, agility, taunt resistance. Now. Uh, what else? Knuckle claw. Yeah, nothing. All right, we'll just keep what we have. Not that big of a deal. We'll just continue to where we actually have to go. I wish, I still wish you can run faster. That's like the only small issue I'm having. Like, not that, it's not that slow. But it's also not that fast. But I guess it's okay. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did Blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banner grab a piece of the pie. Therefore... Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control and direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Those salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium? Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who are on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah. I'm just stumbling my way forward. Okay. Where did Z come from? This thing is in the air, right? Yeah, this thing is way in the air. How do you even get up here? Yeah, you can see that. See from here. We're not even near the cloud sea. Things above it. Um. Is an actual god. And we will for sure be adding him to the team. If he even decides to join. Because what it seems like. Uh, if we go to characters. There's one more slot 
next to Tora. That could be Zeke. Yeah. That could potentially be Zeke. Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra, and I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> 500 years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Hmm. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. Okay. So we can explore again? Uh... And the building you see ahead is the Sanctum. Alright. Yeah, I think we can just... Rooms have already been made for you. You'll find them. Yeah, we can just go there. Oops. Are they gonna make me run there or they're gonna teleport me? They're gonna make me run there. Oh my god. Okay, fine. We'll take the effort to run there. There's really nothing here. There's actually nothing here. Why am I running? They could have they could have just sent me over there. Right, Mithra? Oh well. It's okay. Yeah, this is fine, actually. Because from what it looks like, if we go over here. If there's affinity chart, right, right here, one of these, yeah, right here, walk a lot, 400,000 steps, that's a lot of steps, see how fast this man is, it takes like two steps, like it takes forever. So, as much running as possible will be very good. And it says that it keeps my progress, because that would be messed up if it didn't. Now we just talk to you, right? Alright, my, right, my guy. I don't think it's a guy. Rest. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. 
He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Oof, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Nia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is, you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You've got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me... Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago. What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us along with our memories. 
I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But if you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that, you really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. Hey, I actually really like that cutscene. Uh, it's almost time. Careful not to say anything disrespectful. Well, we don't get any choices anyway. Well, let's go see what he wants. Then we'll probably end it there. Because well, I feel like we're just going to be here for a while anyway. But you can see just how many cutscenes there are and how long they are too. But no, it's not bad. I actually really like it. But we just have to go here, right? Alright. Praetor. Praetor Amalthus.
The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this. From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah. Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To, to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago. Too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium. Or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex. I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to... Reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the Praetor, Dimwit. What's he gonna do, eat her? Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. There are Blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things.
it was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the Architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? A little cat with a mouthus. Welcome back. Okay. Um, honored guest. Rest here another night. There. I mean, if the rooms look that nice, I would definitely stay another night for like free. They're offering it for free. All right. Um, I know we didn't get much done here, but a lot of information has been like shown. So I think it's good enough. Yeah, I think it's a fair amount to go for today. There was mostly cutscenes, but I think we we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure we can start moving on. Uh, a little bit later. And I think that's going to be one of the things we're going to be doing next time. Hopefully, unless there's like like 15 more cutscenes that they're going to make us go through. But other than that, I think we're going to end it here. So, yeah, we'll see you next time when we we like do something aside from like fight one character which was Zeke yeah that's all we really did we fought Zeke and we just saw a bunch of cutscenes got a bunch of information about the past so yeah hopefully we can do a lot more next time